that's really I mean this truck is really rare the way this truck is configured so there was like 20 the there was like oh, 20 we did just yeah, sorry I didn't mean to yeah, no worries. Uh, we just recently did that actually yeah, that looks new yeah can we hear it run yeah yep can be loud and clanking yeah. that's how you like it right <laughs> <laughs> that's how I like it wow that's a lot of work Thank you, sir. Well, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> We're at DFW Airport, heading to South Bend, Indiana, for our first coffee walk of the year. And we're gonna go rescue an OBS Ford truck, a Holy Grail Ford truck. You know it's gotta be special, or we wouldn't be starting the year off with this. So grab your cup of joe and let's go. Three hour delay. Not a problem. It was 121 in the morning. We were supposed to be here at 1020. And as you can see, there's nobody here. Yes, I'm tired. And my arms are tired. Holy moly. Woo! So we're in South Bend. We're supposed to be here at 1020. It's 142 in the morning. Check this out. There is nobody here. Rental car place is closed. Got two hour walk. Morning, Sean P. Good morning, sir. So you were correct. What's funny? So we've discussed this many times. Within 600 miles, you get in the truck and drive. Within 1,000 miles, you think about it. This is 987 miles, and Sean drove here faster than Zach and I flew here. But anyway. In the morning. What's great? We've got Sean P here today. He actually is incredibly knowledgeable on what we are looking to buy today. I am super stoked. And that's going to be the first one, right? The it's it's the first diesel Ford that we bought on the show. Yes. So, but what I was shocked at is they made more of those than I thought because you never see them. Well, 97, they still had the 250 and the 350, but the 97 150 was the new body stock. Right. So, so this is o an OBS truck, correct. which is basically a square body, correct. which people like to call the, the even the Fords and Chevrolets yes, are all square bodies. Now I've got one that's a new thing that's coming out. So as you know, we use Kevin Marty for all our 68 to 1981-ish, well, actually in the Fox Body. Mar Marty report for that? They, they have not yet, but now they are. Really? Yeah. How crazy is that? So this truck was a DSO 52, which is Dallas. You, got, you guys already told me, buy, buy the truck, buy the truck, go look at the truck, whatever. There's a DSO 52, so we know it's not gonna be rusty. It went from Dallas to Abilene, but check this out. You can now get a martyr report on a 97 F350. Wow. So they spent a tremendous amount of time go ahead and crunching the data, and part of what helped them is we sent them all the VIN numbers, and serial numbers, and data tags, and barcodes, and all that stuff off of this truck. And you can also get a warranty label reproduced now because we sent them everything off this truck. They sent us some really nice pictures. But check this out. You Look at the options on that. Right? <laughs> well, I'll just read it to you. <laughs> Please do. So normally when you get one of these reports on special options, you'll maybe have six or eight on a special Mustang or Shelby. Oh. We got a whole row here and continued over here. Wow. But we're just gonna hit on the highlights because it'll take too long. Okay. I don't know what this truck cost, but it had to be crazy expensive. But if you look at that, there's the label for this exact truck. Sweet. So they sent us a high res picture of the people that own it, yeah, and we uh, inputted that, and there it is now. Not the door tag, but then. Yeah, they call it the door warning sticker, whatever. Okay. So the F Series trucks, which have been the best selling truck in Texas for I don't know how long, a long oh, time. Man. In 1997, this is a shocking number. They sold 1,222,430 of them. Damn. Now the majority of those were 150s. Right. Okay. 35,000, which this was a shocking number to me, were F350 four-wheel drive crew cabs. Right. That's a big number. Yeah. I mean, because those trucks were crazy expensive, weren't they? Oh, yeah. We're gonna go look at a 230,000 mile truck. Doesn't which scare. norm I know you got you Doesn't these scare. guys are telling me All my trucks go. are more than that. So 23,000 of those 29,000 were automatics. Okay. Which if you're driving that many miles is probably what you want. It is. Now the most common color, which we always order on all our Rams, we always order right. white. Yeah. So 10,000 of those were white. Yes. So you're talking the majority of those trucks built were white. So Fifth, what color is this one? It's white. Okay. 
So 5,900 of them had the opal gray cloth interior. Now we're gonna drop down and get to where it uh, makes this truck special because this is where they start checking their box of what they want. 355 of them were equipped with auxiliary fuel tanks and- So it's like dual tanks. Dual tanks and they, they called them fuel taps. Yeah. Which I didn't know that, but Ford called them fuel taps. Okay. 170 of them had the big radio, the AM, FM, CD, clock, stereo. Okay. 88 of those had bright electric mirrors. Only 57 of all these trucks had automatic locking hubs. Okay. And here's the one that I was surprised at, which... So I wonder if it has the elephant ear mirrors or does it have the farm truck mirrors? I'm We're going to find out. The elephant ear. I don't know what the bright electric mirrors are. It's got to be the elephant ears. Well, they're extremely rare. Yeah, because most people wanted the elephant, I mean, the, the big ones, so you can see further out. Yeah, because you're pulling trailers. Now, so here's, what, here's what surprised me, because we order some of our trucks with this ratio, but not all of them, because you can't run them very fast. Only 31 of those trucks came with 410 actual ratio. Only 31 of them. I guess most of them were probably, probably 373s. Or 26 had chrome rear step bumpers. 22 had block heaters, which this is one of them, which is unusual for being a DSO 52 truck. Because those trucks really didn't need block heaters, they'll fire right up. I mean, but that's good to have them. 16 came with a camper package. So this got the camper package, which, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's got heavier springs in the back. Okay, just for the weight. Yep. Uh, 14 had remote keyless entry systems, which that was oh, early on. Out. Yep. That was early on with that. Yep. And 13 of them, which is my family's lucky number, had factory 16 inch deep dish forged aluminum wheels. That's dope. How cool is that? Yeah, it's really cool. Because they come with a really good dog dish. So, smoke out. thanks to Kevin Marty, Shelly Marty, and Scott Holby for pulling these records up because to digitize this oh. and make this report was a tremendous amount of work. But now, you guys out there, if you want to know how rare your 97 F350 is, which is also, as we just, that's the last year that model. Last year. All right. So, that's the one everybody wants. Well, I got my cup of joe, get your cup of joe, and let's go rescue a killer truck. All right, so we're in Hamlin, Indiana. Again, we found the middle of nowhere. And there it is, look at that. You ready, Sean P? I didn't even bring a jacket. It's cold. That's yeah, not I very got, well planned. I got a in <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. You could have brought the warm weather with you. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't even bring a jacket. Oh. So I wasn't very prepared. <laughs> oh, I think it's nice out. It yeah, was this? just like 30 below windchill last week, so. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this, this feels nice. Real to nice to meet you. Yes, Dennis. you too. Sean. Sean. Hi. Nice and that's to meet you. Zach on the camera. Hello, Zach. All right. Well, it sure looks good pulling up. Yeah. We, uh, so y'all actually did the restoration? We did. Okay. Yep. My husband and I both, um, that's what he does for a living. He works in town at a body shop okay. and he loves doing this. He's uh, meticulous about things, but you can only do so much when we, we did it in an old chicken coop, to be honest with you, down in really? the old house. Yeah. So um, we searched and searched. This has been my dream truck for a long, long time. It's my dream truck. I'm yeah, <laughs> I love these. I mean, they look like a bus, but I love them. And uh, so yeah, we went in about a two mile or two hour radius um, looking for trucks. They were all beat up pretty good, you know, right. especially around here. Yeah. And then um, we went to Iowa even to look at a truck out there that was at an auction and we drove out there and it had been in a flood. I mean, the hole underneath was rusted horribly. And then uh, well, what did the prior owner say the history of this was? Because you sent me the picture of the, the VIN sticker, mm -hmm. door sticker. Yeah. And that's a DSO 52, which this truck was ordered out of Dallas. Yeah. So I actually bought it from somebody that had flown to Texas okay. to purchase this truck. Okay. Um, and they didn't have it very long. The guy bought it for his son, then his son got it, and he didn't wasn't what he ended up wanting. You know, he wanted something peppy and quick, and you know, kid stuff. And um, and yeah, so seven threes are not though. No. <laughs> and I They'll didn't pull want the house down though. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so did you have to do any rust repair? No, there was no rust. That's on. great. Yeah, no. it went from Dallas to Abilene. Then I guess from Abilene it came to to right. this area. Yeah. So, and that was a thing my husband and I had decided because he said we're better off to look for a truck with no rust and higher yeah. miles. Oh yeah. Because we oh. can always do things with the engine, obviously, easier than nobody wants patch panels and all that nonsense in their truck. So, a little bit of what we did. I used to just set that up in front of the truck at the shows, give see people something to see what we actually did. Y'all even took the doors off. Took the bed and did it all right. 
Yeah. Put the OR15 on the frame. And Love it. The yeah. cream puff build. Yeah. <laughs> I have a binder full of receipts in the truck too from all the you know parts and sensors and this and that because that was a scary thing. We uh, we drove to Southern Indiana to look at a different truck, and when we got there, oh my gosh, the kid had completely lied to us about everything, and I love bawling. And so on our way home, we took a different way home because the Cover Bridge Fest was going on, and this truck was sitting in their front yard with grass growing up around it, oh like it was for sale but no sign. Yeah. And uh, so I said, turn around, let's go, and he's not one to confront people, and I'm like, just do it. <laughs> so I went up there and knocked on the door, and he's like, yeah, I think my son wants to sell it, but the uh, water pump was out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how are we going to drive that home in two and a half hours? Mm -hmm. But we did it. Really? Got it home. Cracked the radiator cap yep. and babied it and had water with us. And so we got to Lafayette and I had to pull off the road into a church because I did not know a vehicle could have so many dash lights. And I pulled out and I said, oh my gosh, what did we do? <laughs> but it was, I mean, nobody had really done any mechanical stuff to it. Really? This, no. this truck's got a couple of rare options on it. Are those the factory wheels? No, those no. They look like Alcoa. Alco Alco They're not, yeah. though. They're not the factory wheels. I no, put those on fun. there. But, well, this this truck actually came from the factory with forged aluminum wheels. Yeah. Uh, oh. what, what's on, what was on it when y'all found it? Uh, just some <clears throat> aftermarket. They were. Okay, they weren't the factory ones? No, no. Right. I, I thought that I would want those because I was trying to go for, even though we took the body trim off and stuff, because that's just places to hide water and dirt and stuff. So we took all the body trim off and everything. Yeah, had the headliner and everything out. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you guys did a ton of that truck. Yes. So you have two of my favorites here. Oh, the 1970 Nova. That's wow. got a big story behind it. Love it. This is a factory 396? It is. Wow. It's an SS, yes. Um, my husband's father passed away when he was a teenager, and his mother kept that car for him all of these years, stored in the garage, and gave it to him just a few years ago. That's so, awesome. Yeah, it's got a lot, a lot of sentimental value. I can all imagine. Yeah, he even still has the way his dad had the seatbelts up inside. He still has everything how his dad had it all these years ago. So, and he's been wanting to tear it down and put a paint job on it and stuff. Oh, like, that's, that's a survivor. I'd leave it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so Shawnee's, according to paper, I looked at these mirrors are rare. Um. Uh, you're going to want those for hauling a trailer. Oh, definitely. And you can't see back here if you just have the little elf in here. Right. Yep. Now we had the headliner, of course, done. Um, the carpet was going to be the next thing. And it just got, you know, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. The headliner looks great. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. So they, they made a ton of these, but they're really hard to find. I know. They're a really, really hot item right now. I mean, even in Texas, which where they sold most of them, I mean... In 97, Ford sold a 1.2 million trucks. Mm -hmm. The Dash made it. They know about track. And then 35,000 mm -hmm. of them were F-350 uh, four-door, four-wheel drive, single yeah. rear wheel trucks, which is a big number, but you just you can't find them. It's unlocked. The door, you have to push it in. It's hard. Oh, okay. We have to adjust it. Well, we were going to adjust that. Super rad. What's in the book? Uh, receipts from most of the things that I and was then, able to save the receipts from. Wow. And then this is the most common color, the white is. Yes, yep, there it's were, a factory color. Mm -hmm. 10,000 of these were white. Thank God it has gray interior, because that's yeah. when they were doing that weird maroon. Yeah, I hate that, right? <laughs> green, I think they even had. <laughs> yeah. Well, this interior, out of the 10,000, 5,900 of these had this interior. Really? So this color, this combination is, is very common. But the ones that are out there are the ones that are not desirable interiors. Right, yeah. So what are the miles on it? Like two hundred thirty thousand? No, it actually just turned over three hundred. Three hundred thousand. Yep. Stop looking at it. <laughs> this, this thing will go forever. I agree. They're the half million mile motor. Yep. Yo, that's what Sean keeps telling me. Yep. yep. High mile stuff normally scares me. He's like, Dennis, no. this thing's just barely broken in at three hundred thousand miles. So the only thing aftermarket on the engine is, is this. The yeah, the intake and the uh, we did a delete on the exhaust back pressure valve. Okay. It was leaking oil out of there. They're known for that. Leaking right. oil into the valley. Nope. Scared us at first because we didn't know, you know, what was going on or whatever. But once we started researching it, we deleted that. So all that does basically is takes a little longer for the engine to warm up if you're going to be driving it. Right. Which but you got, it has the cord, right? Yes. It'll plug in. Yep. Yeah, this truck on the paperwork as well, it was, it was a factory block heater. 
Yeah. Yeah. Which is very unusual for a DSO 52 truck to have. Yeah, really? from, from no, Dallas. Well, I mean, it's, it's really a Texas unusual. truck. We don't need it. Huh. Uh, but it did go to Abilene. It gets pretty cold out there. Yeah. It's got some neat options on it. The, mirror, the chrome rear step bumper was kind of rare on these. I do like the mirrors because you know some of them had the three. Mm -hmm. I, I can't stand those. No, so the mirrors are perfect. Yeah, yeah, I do like that. Well, so. that's uh, the trucks configured like this because we I pulled the paperwork on it. I think only like thirty of them got those mirrors. Really? Yeah, that's a crazy rare option. Wow. And less than thirty of them got the four tens too. That's really. I mean, this truck is really rare. The way this truck is configured, so there was like twenty. The there was like oh, twenty. Oh, we did just. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, no you. worries. Uh, we just recently did that, actually. Yeah, that looks new. Yeah. Well, can we hear it run? Yeah. Yep. It can be loud and clanking. Yeah. That's how you like it, right? That's how I like it. Wow. That's a lot of work. Jack and Diane. Jack and Diane. Just like the song. Just like the song. How great is that? You can't make this up. <laughs> so there is no way that I was going to leave that here. You know why? That's a, why? That's a 600. That, that's, that's the huge. biggest, baddest thing Honda made in 1983. That's kind of scary. Like you had to be a absolute, I don't want to say baller, but definitely a cowboy or a high cotton guy to own that truck. And same thing with that motorcycle. They make very few of them. That's the biggest baddest bike on made that year for an enduro. What are you going to do with that? I'm probably not going to do anything with it. I have, a, it. I have a feeling Zach's going to ride it. He's the oh, motorcycle there. There we go, Zach. <laughs> Test drive. Ma'am, can we uh, do some advertisers? Of course. All right. What's your name? Felicia. Felicia. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, how about we do the pick four sampler? Okay. Cheese curds, broccoli bites, mini tacos. Whatever. And uh, is there one of those that you like, Gwendolyn? Um, mozzarella sticks. Okay. Cool. We'll start with that. And then you say the pizza's great? Yes, the pizza is great. Um, how about we get a couple? Which one do you like the most? Um, the chicken and bacon ranch. All right, chicken we'll do ranch. chicken, bacon, ranch. Uh, I would love to have the meat lovers and put jalapenos on it. You guys eat jalapenos? Outstanding with jalapenos. And Zach, I think you're going to want the barbecue chicken. Is that right? Uh, buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken. That was close. <laughs> buffalo chicken. So that's three pizzas. All 14 inches. How about you, Sean I, I've been wanting to try this Italian beef. Well, we're very long with our Italian beef. I want to do the Italian beef and then steak fries. Side of ranch. We're from Texas. But to answer your question, I think the small pieces are okay. I think that's enough food. I don't know how much you're going to eat. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I think I'll start off with a garden salad with blue cheese. The garden salad? Yes, ma'am. Side salad. Uh, side salad, small one. I'm sorry. Blue cheese, extra dressing. Does Chris bring in his toolbox lid? Now don't go selling those on eBay or something. Oh, please. <laughs> you know. Can I get a picture? Yes, ma'am, of course. All right. All right. Take another one. All right, you got like three or four. No, right. thank you very yeah, much. Yes, so we got buffalo, meat lovers with jalapeno, and chicken bacon ranch, which is your favorite. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thin crust style pizza, which I really like. Go ahead, ma'am. All right, can I have a plate, please? <laughs> Thanks. Sean P., what are you going to have? I'm going to give you my peppers, because I know you love them. You want some meat lovers? Yeah. The place dirty, but it's all right. It's all going to go to the same place. Yep. Really good today. Well, this is going to be Best Buy right here, but i got to have it with a jalapeno. I'll do it with Ooh. you. Ooh, that's hot. Extra cheese. That's really cheesy. Yeah. yeah Great pizza. Wait, there's so, no. Have you ever in Knox, Indiana, go to Jack and Diane? It's kind of like the song, right? Yes. Yep. All right. Which one? Right about the Google. Like the Google okay, you got it. All right. Well, Justin, thanks for coming by. Thank you. Did a great Appreciate job on that truck. It. Thank you. Gwendolyn, thanks for all your time. Nice, nice meeting you guys. Nice great meal. Good. So again, Jack and Diane's, that's actually the owner's names. Outstanding pizza, great appetizers, and they have a bar if you'd like to partake in a frosty beverage. And if you want to see this show, you walk up to the door, scan the QR code, it'll pop up. That's another genius idea by Zach and Kelsey. Get you some of that.